What's up everybody, welcome back to Poverty Chef and uh, decided today we're not going to do Ghetto Gourmet, we're going to do Deluxe Ghetto Gourmet, oh yeah, we're doing mac and cheese today and honestly I'm pretty pissed. These fools at my local grocer, is that a word grocer, grocerer, grosh, grosh, grocer, I don't know, whatever, uh, they, they had this other brand that I used to eat, and I liked it, right? It was okay. You know, it was like, uh, your Velveeta, you know, that's that's the good shit. But I had to go to the Ghetto Gourmet style. And the Ghetto Gourmet cheese and mac <laughs> is, uh, it's just, uh, I mean, it was okay, right? But they replaced it with this deluxe shells and cheddar dinner. Uh, original in cheddar cheese sauce. I don't know what the hell any of that means, right? Like, yeah, I'm just a regular guy. Just tell me in normal terms. Is it Velveeta or is it not? You know what I'm saying? Uh, turns out it's not Velveeta. It's not Velveeta in disguise at all. Uh, it looks like this. So, I mean, like, it looks good. I tasted it already. It's palatable for sure. Um, it's good. I'm going to taste some of it here, right here in front of you guys, just so you can see. Think about mac and cheese is you almost don't have to chew it just uh just shovel and swallow shovel and swallow and i imagine uh that's how obese people start they use a normal person like me they taste the deliciosity of mac and cheese and then they just shovel and swallow and then you know eventually you can only eat so much mac and cheese but it just tastes so good it doesn't matter that I, I, I could end up weighing three, four hundred pounds in the future, which isn't unrealistic. There are people that have uh, come to weigh that much. And I'm not trying to trivialize uh, your problems if you've looked at that. The clouds have parted since I started this episode, and the sun is shining on my face now. It's brighter. Uh, thank you, Lord. And I was gonna, if that's not a sign to all of you that you should be watching my channel, that I start recording and the, and the clouds part, I don't know what is. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, mac and cheese. If I was gonna get obese, it would be off of mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese, it's good, and not that craft shit with the powder and the, and you got a half cup of milk and three quarters cup of butter. No, it, it's gotta be prepackaged in a bag. You, like, I need to risk dumping my entire meal out because it's a non-slip surface that I'm dumping cheese out of. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but, I digress. It's pretty good. It's okay. The cheese is fairly salty. Let's see what the salt content of this is. Uh, sodium, 1,010 milligrams. Oh my God. That's 42% of your daily values. And this is my second box today, which means I'm at 84% of my daily values. And now, me personally, a high salt content meal for me, excuse me, isn't gonna be a problem because I, I don't, I sometimes crave salt, but like, my weakness in food is sweet and savory flavors, not salty flavors. So, um, typically my, my diet is very low in salt content. Um, and the cheese is almost uncomfortably salty with each bite. So, there's that. By the way, check out my awesome shirt. I'm not going to aim any lower because I'm not wearing any pants. Uh, so if this was a job interview and you asked to, to see full profile, I'd be screwed because I wouldn't be wearing my khakis. Um, but look at this. This is the poor man's tie-dye. I, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was just being lazy or something and I grabbed a dirty shirt to clean up some bleach stuff on the floor and, uh, that's what caused the poor man's tie-dye. So I can no longer wear the shirt in public. However, uh, the shirt, because of that, will, will not last longer. Um, and it looks pretty fucking badass. Look at this. Look at this. Don't pay attention to my broad chest. Don't pay attention to the muscle definition. Don't pay attention to the handsomeness underneath. The, the focus here is the shirt, guys. You see that? It's like angel wings or like a demon face. I don't know. Uh, you, you don't join to watch me compliment myself. Uh, you join to watch the jokes. It's all about the jokes. And honestly, I've, I've come to realize that this channel isn't even about the food anymore. The food's more of a prop. Um, and... If I run out of content in the future, the food is something to always fall back on. 
Um, I'm wondering if maybe I should consider myself more of a vlogger rather than a food reviewer. Okay, let me know in the comments if, if uh, just based on my personality and I mean you guys are probably more experienced with this than I am. Uh, what do you think I should be? What do you think I should be when I grow up? You know? Um, now, mac and cheese alone is always good, but I have found that the best way to eat mac and cheese is mixed with other stuff. It's so like earlier today, I told you this is my second bowl. Um, I mixed it with uh, sweet hickory bushes baked beans with um, shredded chicken breast. And oh my God, that was amazing. And then I reviewed mac and cheese with spinach already. I mean, that was amazing, right? That was really good. And uh, I've, tomorrow, who do I, who should I troll? I don't know. I was thinking the developers over at Wildcard, uh, give them a piece of my mind. Um, maybe um, the Brett Kavanaugh situation, not Kavanaugh specifically, not his accuser specifically, but just the whole thing, the whole ordeal. We'd be trolling a concept. Um, I control the puppies that I have downstairs. Oh yeah, you guys want to see the puppies come in my van? Come on, come on, just, just come in the van. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm the same way, you know, if uh, there's about three things in this world that a molester could get me to go into a van with him with, and one is puppies, the other is um, total power. <laughs> like, hey, you want to be president? Come get in my van. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, is it worth the risk, you know, like, I mean, you know, maybe he's just Satan, and maybe he can offer me a good deal for a good time, you know, uh, and then the other one, I don't know, maybe there's only two things, ultimate power and puppies, uh, is what you could get me into a, a obscure van with, um, you certainly couldn't get me to do it for money, because wealth is for the weak, that's right, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, wealth is for the weak, because wealthy people have one solution to every problem, that is money, I'm not preaching, I'm just saying, poor people are problem solvers. Rich people are money solvers. I don't think that makes sense in the last part, but that's okay. Um, I had wanted to talk about something else, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, puppies, yes. So I might feature puppies. I've got some puppies. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, like and subscribe if you want to see puppies. But uh, there's no guarantee that you'll get the puppies. Um, so yeah, I, I might feature the puppies um, maybe as a meal, maybe not. I guess you guys just have to subscribe and tune in tomorrow to find out. Um, unless you're watching this in the future and you're watching it in a playlist where it's playing the newest videos first, in which case you will have gotten the puppy video first and then you will know. And then you'll see this video and you're like, oh, well, that's no surprise to me. I already know what happened. So uh, you know, watch the oldest videos first. That's the way to do it on playlists. Um, it always pisses me off when YouTube glitches and I can't do that. Or maybe that's not even a feature on YouTube yet. I don't know. Um, back to the mac and cheese. It mixes better. It, it mixes really well with other stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what else you can mix with it without giving away future recipes that I'll be reviewing because uh, I've got some good stuff planned. Um, Pretty much a lot of a lot of your leafy greens will go really well with mac and cheese. Um, any meat, like last night, I had mac and cheese with. Um, actually, yeah, I had chicken with it last night too. But I also had hamburger meat uh, mixed in with it as well. So I did my forearms again. You guys know how I am, you know. It's a spinach end and a divorce. And in case you guys didn't get the the joke. Uh, the divorce means no sexual activity, so you're incentivized to use your forearms in lieu of your wife. Which it, it, there's a lot of there's a lot of play in that uh, in that joke. So if you didn't get it, you didn't get it, and that's okay. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, she, he chased her underneath the. My floor is kind of nasty. Don't pay attention to that. Uh, I've got a vacuum, but uh, the vacuum doesn't suck up stains. So. Uh, oh, they're under the table. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, this is uh, this is the time to give feedback for what you want to see. Uh, do you want to see me reviewing feces? Do you want me? I mean, this coming spring, I'm totally gonna review some feces, not as food, but as fertilizer. We're gonna try some different things out. I've, I dug a 
I dug a pit, and I can only imagine what my neighbors were thinking uh, when they see me knee deep in a hole in my yard, just digging, and, and just just digging, digging, digging. And I, I ended up getting it like two and a half feet deep, and it's uh, maybe four meters long. I saw that fly again, you little cocksucker. Where'd you go? Oh, I thought that was. I was like, oh my god, that fly is huge! But it was actually just a shadow from something on my mirror, uh, the bird poop stain. That's what that is. It's a, it's a big window. I'm not going to go out there and uh, got a bad memory at that window. There was a bush out there and I was like, uh, I was trying to paint the front of my house when I first bought it. And I was like, hey, you know what would be a smart idea? Throw a pallet on top of the bush and then I can walk on the bush. And I stepped on the bush, on the pallet, and I fell all the way through and it hurt like an mf -er. Um but Yeah, anyway, so that's pretty much the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about my poor man tie-dye. And, uh, oh, also, I don't work out here. Like, this isn't an endorsement. I wasn't paid to, to show you this, right? Uh, if, if you're going to work out by your own weights, you don't got to deal with anybody else. You don't got to compete with muscle heads for time at the, at the pec press. You don't have to worry about losing your, um, losing your patience and smash, smashing someone's skull in with some barbells. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of that. If you buy your own weights, bring them to your own house. Oh, and you don't have to clean your own equipment because it's your sweat that's touching your back when you get back on the machine. Uh, so you don't have to worry about parasites or anything like that either. Uh, you should probably still clean it though just because like, it gets sticky and stuff. So you don't want to deal with any of that. Um, yeah, should I be a vlogger? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. If I don't get any comments, um, then uh, we're going to have a problem on this channel. I'll tell you that right now. I'll start calling out every single one of my subscribers like, hey, fool. And uh, if you don't share this video, all of your clothes for the next year will be bleached. But it's going to be an uneven bleach, so you're going to have splotches. It's not going to be just a random weird color all the way across. It's going to be a mixture. It's going to be mottled, and you won't be able to fix it. You'll be cursed for an entire year with bleached clothing. So uh, share the video. Also, thanks. Love you guys. You're beautiful as always. Enjoy your time.